Nanjing Road in the early morning and everywhere are people dancing and doing yoga and doing Chinese traditional dance. It's so cute to see. traveled yesterday the whole day from Shanghai to Beijing not the whole day we had a high-speed train so in four and a half hours we were in Beijing and actually it's so far away it's almost like Amsterdam Madrid is, is that right my brother Amsterdam Madrid so it's really like a different culture here and other kind of people so I'm really curious today we go to the Forbidden City really so, some sightseeing what you have to do when you're in Beijing and it's really traditional old Chinese. So I'm really curious and I'm gonna take you with me. Behind this wall is the Forbidden City. <laughs> I can't believe this is this is I don't just don't have words for this As you can see it's almost freezing here it's really cold but I wanted to tell you why it's called the Forbidden City because only the Emperor and all his mates and um, working people in the palace can come here so it's closed for the normal people in 1949 the year of Mao Zedong the palace became open for also the normal people so that's why it's called the Forbidden City We just walked this mountain to the, the temple I just showed you and then we have this view but all the um, mist that you see is smog so it's really bad air here. I think I'm gonna buy Mundschütze. I think I'm gonna buy something to protect my breathing. But look at this. Morning, morning! Day... I don't know which day it is. <laughs> but it's the second day here in Beijing and we're going today to the Summer Palace. Today it's the pollution between 200 and 300 and uh, our advisor app says that it's better to put a mask on because it's really unhealthy. It's chaos here. Everyone is yelling, <laughs> Everyone is yelling something that they want to sell something. It's like a market. It's really funny. 
we're now in a taxi to the Great Wall, mommy! Yeah. found a place in the mountains where we had to go to go on the great big wall of China it's so cold right here but I'm so curious how the view is from upstairs climb every mountain I didn't know I had afraid of heights but uh, this is pretty high and there are no walls at the wall. There's a massive wind. It almost blows you from the wall. But the view is amazing. Yesterday evening we arrived here in Xi'an. We're gonna cycle on the walls of Xi'an. So nice to bike again because this holiday every day we walk 15 kilometers or something and now I feel like a bird on this bike. So nice. 15 kilometers of a wall around the inner city, around the historic part of the city. square here in Xi'an and there are everywhere groups of men. <laughs> I think it's an open casting for a modeling thing. It's really funny to see. This is such a funny street everywhere. Everywhere food and everywhere Everyone is yelling that they have to <laughs> that you have to buy the food from them. Good morning! We're in the cab towards the Terracotta Warriors. <laughs> so we're now at the hallway where the Terracotta army is and it's pretty overwhelming. This all clay, all stone. Look at this. So we went, just went with a bus and now we're gonna go with like, I don't know how to say this in English Kondos? <laughs> Look at this, it's fucking crazy! Father, sister and brother are gonna go to the dragon path. I'm gonna show you now. That's really crazy. There they go.
We just said our goodbyes to our brother because he's staying here for a little bit, <laughs> a little bit more. Thank you so much for watching this video it was a really a really really cool adventure and i'm really blessed that i can share this with my family so uh, yes thank you for watching and see you next week bye